Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I want to show you the Griffin PowerMate and how we could use it to control Reaper. This is a little controller I found that's pretty affordable. The one I'm using right here is the USB model. I got it for about 40 bucks. There's another one over here, it's a bit more, that uses Bluetooth, so it's completely wireless. But both versions use the same software and work the same way and we could use them to control Reaper. I actually figured this out by accident. I got the thing because it looked kind of cool. I plugged it in and started playing with the software, which looks like this. We could choose the application we want to set it up for, our default, or specific ones. Obviously, we're going to use Reaper. Then we could choose what input affects what. We could rotate left, rotate right, press the button like this. We could long press the button, rotate left while pressed, or rotate right while pressed. We're going to focus on the first two. Now you're probably thinking you're going to want to use this for scrolling. So we'd set up rotate left for scroll left, and rotate right for scroll right, which will work. If we go back to Reaper, I could use this to scroll forward and backward very quickly. And it's pretty useful for that. But what I discovered is if we change it to up and down, it's a lot more useful. Let me show you. Let's change this to scroll down and scroll up. Let's go back to Reaper. Now we can go up or down to navigate through our project. But it's much more useful than that. If we go over here to our fader, we could turn our knob and adjust the parameter to the left or to the right. We'll go right to the mixer and do it here. We do the same thing for pan, right or left, or basically anything in Reaper. Now to set this up correctly, we should check out our preferences. If we scroll down to mouse, make sure these are turned off. Ignore mouse wheel on all faders and track panel faders and transport. If these are on, make sure you turn them off, or well, this won't work. Because the way it's working, it's behaving like a mouse wheel. So if you put your mouse over here and use your mouse wheel, I'm using my trackpad, it's basically doing that same behavior. But you can do it with a knob. Just put it there and move our knob. And again, this will work with anything in Reaper. Let's say we're using plugins. Let's go to an EQ. We can go right here, go to our gain, and readjust that gain. Well, the frequency, or my high pass filter, adjust that frequency, go to high shelving, adjust the gain, or that frequency. It's pretty handy to have a knob. Now we can adjust the sensitivity right in the application. Right over here, Less or more. I find right about here works the best, but if you want it to be more sensitive, just bring these up and go over here. Now it's a lot more sensitive. We'll go the other way and make it less sensitive. But we could also use the feature in Reaper to fine tune it. Let's put this back to about here. Now when you use a mouse wheel, you could fine tune it by adding a modifier. On PC it's control, on Mac it's command. So if we hold that down and use our mouse wheel, it's more fine tuned. But we could do the same thing with the power mate. If I hold down the modifier and turn this, you get fine tuned control of that parameter. Or the gain, and the same thing for our fader. Fine tune it with the modifier held down. And to work with compressors, just put the cursor on the threshold and make our adjustments. 
And because it works with anything, we can use third-party plugins as well, like the rocket, just the attack, or the release, or the threshold. And we could also automate all this. Let's automate some volume. Click on the track, hit V, open the envelope, put the track in write mode, go to my fader, and start writing automation, up or down. And if you want to fine tune it, just add in the modifier. And it makes more fine adjustments. Or let go to make more coarse adjustments. And it's also great for controlling sends. Let's send this track to this track. We'll drag and drop the routing there. We create this send, go right up to it with the cursor, and just adjust that send very quickly. Well, we could do it from the routing as well. Open this up, control the send here, or the pan, or the main volume, or the main pan. Anything that works with the mouse wheel will work with the power mate. So that's pretty much it. That's using the power mate to control Reaper. I think it's a lot more handy to have a knob to control our parameters, and it's a nice little fairly priced device. I hope you learned something. I hope you can use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Mm -hmm.